Hey guys, it is Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. We're doing a Pennsylvania video today and we are at Silver Moon Consignment Barn in, again, Lewisburg. We're gonna get inside, see what magical treasures we can't find, maybe for resale, no. Definitely for resale, maybe for collecting. I'm trying to behave. Let's see how well I can. Let's do this, guys. It is your first time here. Check out the exterior. We still got that gla glass gas attendant over here. Uh, it's kind of like a violent scene. Um, as we get closer, there's bullet holes in the drivers. He's slumped over. I think he may be injured. She's got the baby in there looking a little sus. Are these coming from the exterior? No, they're coming from the interior. They are. Creepy mannequin drama aside, let's get inside, guys. Well, here we have some good pieces. We've got our little tin type there in their cases. They seem to be in relatively good condition. Um, apologize, the glare is making that man look headless. I promise. Oh, there we go. He is not. That one's at 40, and we've got his lady friend back there at 30. Those are really good prices. Um, I think we'll probably go for the gentleman there. I like the larger one. He's very distinguished. And then right over here, do you see that clear glass fish back there? He is a happy little fella. Look at the smile on him. And he's only $5, which is the better part of it. Oh, look at a vintage police whistle. Is that a child's one though? I wonder. Hmm. I don't know, but we're definitely going to get that fish and the tin type. Sure are. Oh, well, look at there. We've got some fairy lamps, little pedestal. It looks like a, uh, a, um, Westmoreland here. They're red. They want 20 for that one. The Amber, uh, Indiana, the Tierra, a little Mosser here. That's cute. Westmoreland, we've got a clear home co back there. Another Westmoreland here in the front. Little Pagoda. Pagoda's 30. Oh, look at that little stovetop fairy lamp. It's adorable. How much is it? 70. Uh, more Indiana glass there. Ooh, how about some Ellie Smith Moon and Stars? That green is at 149. The amber is at 85. Oh, look, they call it a cording. It's a cording lamp. Mm -mm. My goodness, the controversy of it all. Um, prices are not where, obviously, we would need them to be for resale. So we'll leave those, but it was cool to see. Alrighty, guys, we're in an amazing booth where I have found quite a few things. Now you're seeing an open cabinet over there. You're spotting the bluebirds. But listen, now wait. There's something special I want to show you. I can't believe this. Do you see these itty, oh my goodness, these itty bitty, look at. They're $12 for the set of itty bitty blue birds of happiness. They are uh, etched sign. Oh, you know what? You can see that way better in the camera than you can in real life. Ron Ray, 1980. 889. Uh, are we gonna get two little baby bluebirds for $12? Yes, we are. I kind of like this one because it does like the colorway. You see, they're like a lighter blue. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful though? I do love this shade of blue. Ron Ray does an excellent job, job with the shade of blue. I'm not overly sold on these guys. 14. How much was this bigger one? 14. 89. What's this one? Is this 89 also? It is. Doesn't let's put these down here so we don't drop anything. Oh, it's a whole family. <sighs> See, I think this one's darker simply because the glass is thicker, but oh my, stop it. But I won't spend $20 on Bluebird. So I'm going to leave that one behind, but we're going to get these three for sure. Okay. 
whole flock of birds. So underneath these bluebirds, look what is right down here. We have a clear and a satin glass. These are the Fenton little finches. I can never, and they're stamped, I can never get enough of these. I don't know why. I love the simplicity of them. And if you do have your bluebirds, they go in beautifully, just kind of mixing up the different sculpts and shapes. They're each $12. Both, again, are Fenton. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick these up. I love the clear glass. I love the birds. Um, so we'll get those, too. Now, the prices seem to be really good. Do you spot it over there? Oh, is there damage on it? At the top. Oh, there is. Darn it, the tip of the tree is broken. Shoot. Let's see. $12. Gersh, darn it. I do like the small black bud vase. Ooh, that's making me incredibly nervous. Okay. Um, it's a lot of straw marks. See the rippling? Um, it's okay at 12. I'm not... It's just... Yeah. Alright, let's make sure we're not leaving anything behind in chill. A lot of longer burger... We're going to leave it behind. I just, it, it's a lot to digest. It's just not, not passionate about it. So let's not step on the birds. Um, I want to double check over in here. Just make sure we're not missing anything. Um, oh my goodness. Let's get down there. There's a. Schwanny Swan. Little Westmoreland hand painted 24 for that one. It's cute, but I'm not in love. It's not saying, Michael, you need me. That's interesting. Party light, tall candle holder, $25. Mm. Okay, you know what? Let's see. These are open. Well, it's in the same case as the bluebirds and the Fenton birds. Let's see here. I do see some opalescent. I think this is a Miller. Oh, it's 23. I don't really want to spend 23 on it, but let's get it out to look at and admire it. Ooh. It's glass upon glass. Um, It's 23. I don't think it's not wowing me enough for me to get that. Oh my goodness. Nothing nerve wracking about it at all. Let's go ahead and stack more glass on top of it. Nothing could go wrong there, right? Just remember if you're three feet away and something happens, it doesn't count. It's not your fault. Little milk glass. It is 25. Not bad. Okay, we're gonna move on. We got our birds in a basket. We're going to pick it up where we left off from right here. Ooh, what is this? <sighs> cash or check only. Well, I don't have... I think I have like $8 in cash. <laughs> I never carry cash. Ooh, Boyd's. Are there any of the... Out of the woods? I don't... Hmm. Do yourself a favor if you love like the antique plush... Um, you kind of like those mohair, check out, go into eBay and check out the Boyd's Bears, um, out of the woods series. Oh my gosh. They're so good. I mean, they have like exaggerated limbs. They're very stylized, but they look very antique. Um, I, I just, uh, listen, they're contemporary and I love them. Um, I have sold three recently and I loved every single one of them. So again, check that out. We'll go over here and do another 50% off with cash or jack. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> uh, death glare. Jeez. Um, not Feeling it for our purposes. All right, I'll check back with you guys here in a little bit. Do spot this lamp here, and I absolutely love. Oh, it's pear point. Um, I love this shade. 
Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love the simplicity of it. But that blue and white, oh, it's got a great, very clean line to it. Very minimal embellishments on it now. It is signed on the bottom. I'm not gonna, you know, this is not, it literally, the shade is resting, you see. Uh, so we're not gonna pick it up, especially at 450. Not gonna risk it, but my goodness, isn't that a beautiful piece? All right, we've got an interesting mix of things in here. A little of the, oh, look at the old paint by numbers, my goodness. There was a time about a year ago, those paint by numbers, they were flying off the shelves. What caught my, oh, this pink depression swung vase, I wonder. How much are you going to be, little one? 35 for that big old pink depression, 35? Hmm. I'm not mad at that price, 17 inch pink. I'm going to take a risk on this. I know it's pink depression, but that's a big old piece. Of, it's a weapon, right? Let those robbers know who's in charge. Um, you know, it's pink depression. It's not like it's uncommon, this glass, but I've never seen a pink depression swung vase that big. So, yeah, 35, I'm going to take a chance. I would like to get it cheaper, but I think it's a cool piece, so we're going to add it in. Oh, we're doing pink, blue, and clear. That's been a running thing for me here lately. And then tucked away in this little, I like these little religious icons in here. They're like a plastic little suit. Oh, you can hang it on the wall. Jesus is hanging out. Three to, wait a minute, I recognize this handwriting. <gasps> Oh, is this the same vendor? Does she have another booth over here? I don't know, but I feel like that handwriting is hers. Hmm. Could be $12 for the Pyrex. Cute. Not in love. Not in love. Um. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. Let's tell time with Bugs Bunny. Okay. Uh, ooh, look at this. Ooh, it's six dollars. Oh, I oh, the head's been repaired. Darn it. I love the movement on that one, but you know, that break is a little, a little much for us. So we'll leave that one there. And, ooh, look, sugar babies, or snow bunnies, pardon me, snow babies. What did I call them, snow bunnies? <laughs> okay, Michael. I like this color combination. Five dollars. It's a cute, it's nothing special, but I do like this color combination together, yeah? Five, I'm gonna leave it there. A little of the Royal Copley action, the angry deer, or the possessed deer. That's a good price on that one for $12. Okay. We've got a lot going on in this booth, but obviously my particular personal taste is this Art Nouveau style. It's a gold woman vase. It seems like it's a composite. Um, hmm. It's definitely not original, I can tell you that much. 59 it's not that bad. It's like a chalkware composite. Now looks like and more so from her face that they made a mold out of original base but it's got a great presence to it if you don't mind a reproduction i think the price is very fair it's got some great size to it um oh wait i kind of wanted to oh that's 15 let's be critical too many inclusions for me to feel like 15 is going to be where we need it to be. It's okay. Um, ugh. I don't know how I feel about that. Those seahorses are trapped in the Oh, golly, and there's even an itty bitty baby. He didn't even have a shot at life. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this one. Again, an Art Nouveau style, 18. Hmm. Don't like the screws right into the flowers. Again, finishings are letting me know it's not of quality. Oh, shoot. 
I don't, this is a, a, it's not a real ostrich. Oh, is it? Oh my God, that is a real ostrich egg. Richard has a couple of these. I wonder if he wants this one with the stand. Let's see. Just texted Richard a picture. I don't know. I frankly, at 24, I'm going to pick this up. Even if Richard doesn't want it, I honestly feel like somebody might really enjoy that. Now, this ostrich egg, you can kind of just, I mean, it's not like it's super, it's not like paper thin. It's heavy duty. Isn't it a real egg? We're like up in this egg's business. Should we make this the thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> I'll title the video Egg Holes. See how that does. Okay, I just spotted this piece. I don't know what's up with it, but it, look at how they are just loving one another. It's $10. I don't know that it's... What is this made out of? A weird composite material? It's so cute. Look at, they are just in love. It feels like it's a newer, I mean, it's definitely got a ring, uh, but it's $10. Is somebody out there, don't they look like they're just the happiest little hooting family, literally? Um, Shouts we do it? What do you think? You wouldn't do it. Let's do it. Okay, we'll do the owl family. As I was walking back to the basket, I did spot... Look at this. Oh my goodness. Kitschy realness. Bunny blue. Are we going to be able to get it for resale? Oh my gosh. A Rand McNally. It's $12. Ooh. Um, 61 No, 56. Mm. Oh. Bunny Blue was not a real bunny. He was a toy bunny, and he was very pretty. Go ahead, bunny. Oh, he is loved. Bunny Blue, you look very different tonight, said a little rubber dog, rubber dog doll. Oh, what are you crying for? Oh, look at the giraffe. Holy! He's getting taken out. What's going on? Oh, he's sleepy, bunny. Watch out for the dog. He's gonna rip your stuffing out. Ooh, that dog is definitely trying to rip your stuffing out, bunny. Um, it's twelve dollars. Let me see if there's a comp on it. Good news for all of you bunny blue lovers. Now there is one that is actually on eBay right now at $12, but it is in very poor condition. It seems that all of the other ones are at 30 plus. So $12, it's, you know, I, I can hope for an $18 profit. I don't know that I'll get the $18 profit for it, but I am gonna go ahead and rescue that one. We have the golden dictionary here. I, I don't think I'm overly in love with these. This one's five. This one's only five. It's 1944. Maybe I should. This is fun. Oh, this is funner than I thought it was going to be. See, Michael, you judged. You prejudged. Oh, look at it. It's so fun. How many dollars? Five dollars? The Golden Dictionary, 1944. Hmm gonna look it up well, sorry to the golden dictionary fans but it is available on ebay for the same amount of dollars so i'm gonna leave that one behind but don't worry bunny blue is coming with us check out that say it with me mid cinch um i like that lamp back there with the twisty wood great collection here love it love it love it is it bringing back memories for anybody the looks the styles Hey, salt and pepper shakers. Ooh, anthropomorphic corn. Um, Quantico. Ooh, 44. Go ahead. 22. We got Ellie Falls. Ellie Falls, 35. Okay, well, you know, hey. 
Can't win them all. Starburst clock. Feeling it. Mom and dad milk glass. Because why not? Little deal. Oh my gosh. I, we had this growing up forever. Um, there's some more mid Sancho over here. I don't know if it's the same vendor. We can look, but... <laughs> don't know if it's going to happen. What do we have? 25 on the clear. Fairy lamp, Indiana. Hmm. Okay. And... Oh, sassy pig down there glaring. You can keep glaring. I'm just going to keep you in that cage. That's what you get for the attitude. We've got butter prints individually priced. Bottom is 38. That middle piece there is 20. No, is 32. Ooh, hey, Holt Howard. I'm afraid to look. Cottage cheese is $70. Okay. Honestly, that's about the going rate for those cottage cheese. I've actually, there's different ones. I can't remember off the top of my head what the other ones are, but I know that I've done my due diligence. How much are you? 30. That's not hateful. Oh, my Lord. That's a little hateful. <laughs> the look. Oh. I mean, this is a great shade. The color is very specific. But still cool to see. Got some mugs there. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, this tea kettle is darling. Oh, it's a little strawberry. How cute is that? It looks vintage too. The strawberry tea kettle, 32. <gasps> it's darling. I don't want to spend $32 on it, but it's really cute. All right, guys, we are headed into another part of the mall. We've got our basket filling up. Um, I will say this, I typically don't do as well in this portion of the mall, but I'm totally down for y'all to prove me wrong today. I really, truly am. Um, let's see over here. Um, eh. Pretty, oh, they work. Can you hear it? Maybe. 95. Not that bad, considering it works. This one's at 105. I think that's more of a contemporary piece, though, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll move along, guys. <laughs> All right, we are switching it up. I'm not going to try to butcher. It's actually, I think it's H. Or is it M? H-E-U-N-E-C. Uh, they're a little German. Little German from 1999. It's some TV show, but there are sweethearts. Now, I had a vinyl doll of one of these at one time, and he did really well. So we're getting two of the plush for $5. I probably, if I'm going to be honest with you, I might sell them for $10 each. So it's not a huge profit driver, but I do like having some cute plush. I've really been getting into it of late, and I do see Peter Cottontail record over here. What is going on? Um, here comes Peter Cottontail. Peter Cottontail, Betty Bunny's <laughs> birthday, Marshmallow Bunny. Jack Rabbit hits a home run. I bet you owe it's Peter Pan Records. Ooh, look at that. That's lovely on the back of that. Oh my gosh. It's $4. Mm, there's no sleeve. Ooh, vinyl's very clean, but I don't know. I just don't see it as being something that people would really listen to. All right, so two pieces. The first piece that honestly caught my eye was this pretty little head vase. I love her. She's adorable. I love the pink and cream. However, it's $69, so we're definitely... Her eyelashes are intact, but definitely not where we would need her to be. Then, behind her... I spotted this beautiful, uh, this thing, look at the shape, hold on, I got a better handle on it, look at that, look at that shape, look at the color, that amber into like that mossy gray green, oh, I think it is beautiful, now it does have a sticker saying made in Canada, it's priced at $29, I don't know y'all, that's a beautiful piece of glass, um, 
yeah, I'm going to get it. I just, that sculpt, the movement, the color, it's a great luster and shine. I like it a lot. Let's get it, you guys. All right, so at this point, things are getting a little out of control, so we're going to have to take that basket up, unload some stuff, and I'm going to take this up there to the hold shelf, too. Okay, so this stuff is on the hold shelf. Okay. And then I'm going to add a clear bird and another clear bird. But I'm not going to add the blue birds of happiness. Do you know why? Because I think it's a jinx. They're staying in there. I have to have something in the basket, otherwise we're not going to find anything else. I'm convinced. Wonderful turn of events. This lovely antique mall actually will pre-wrap for you. Um, you know, depending on the antique mall, I always recommend, especially if you're buying a lot, to see if they will pre-wrap things for you. They can kind of get the list. Oh, that lamp is gorgeous. Um, and you'll tell, and I'm going to show you that too. But it saves so much time and so much, like, headache for them. Because naturally, um, when somebody like me or like us goes up to the register to check out, that's when everybody else wants to check out. Oh my gosh, and there's all those thousand eyes. Okay, let's just turn it around and check it out. Okay, the lamp is sick. Oh, look at that lion crest on there. Oh, she's a beauty. Bohemian chimney. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, you know what? I thought this was Thousand Eye. It's in... Ah! <laughs> oh. It's just... Working condition. We've got some great hobnail. Spooner here by Fenton. Love it. Oh, yeah. And that's got the nice hobnail on the bottom. It's that sharp hobnail. Ooh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Great light reflection. Use it as a candle holder instead of a spooner, right? Use it as a vase. Use it as a pot. Quanto costa? $11. That's not bad. Um, I don't know that it is much more valuable, so I am going to leave it there. But look at this lamp. Oh, it's beautiful. B and B. Hmm, let's check it out. All right, here is where we're at with it. Um, this is one of those things where you kind of have to decide is, do you value it? Oh, oh, he's... Richard's so interested, he's calling me right now. Let's see what he says. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we're doing the final wrap-up in the car because I cannot, it's so bright out, and I'm not complaining about it. I love it. Uh, but I am blinded every which way I turn. So, guys, uh, that was pretty exciting. We definitely got a lot of birds today. It definitely was a case of the Alfred Hitchcock birds going on. Not mad at it. You guys, as always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. It's probably going to be that lamp. I know. Maybe. Who knows? You never know what the future may hold. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.